Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my tower survival base tutorial. This is one of the best builds I've ever done, so stick around and make sure you watch it. I'll show you how to build it block by block, step by step. We've even got texture on the roof. This entire build just looks awesome. I really, really like it. Let's take it off cinematic camera. So we've got a nice little entry room. We've got even an underground bedroom right here. And on the second floor, we have an armory. Third floor, we have a chest storage area, which is actually really like efficient with the space. Full enchantment table up top, nice chests up in the roof, and everything looks really cool. So yeah, I'll show you how to build it block by block, step by step. Let's get started. All right, so for your tower base, you're gonna need to find the materials found in my hot bar below. And you're gonna start off by placing four oak logs with a six block space in between them. So I'm gonna place my first one right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place one, one, two, three, four, five, six, place one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place one. Now after this, you're gonna wanna bring them up a total of 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. You're gonna do that on all four. All right, we're done with that. They're all up to a total of 13 high. The next step is gonna be going in here. We're going to do some framing. So we're just going to place cobblestone in a square like this, just inside of our oak logs. And then we're going to go up like this. And we're gonna go one up from the top, just like that. And we're gonna do that on all four corners. All right, looks in, looks in pretty good. That's English, looking pretty good. Okay, we're going to connect the frames at the top here and then we're going to start building our walls. So our walls are just gonna be made out of oak wood planks, nothing too fancy. We will add some texturing later in the build. That's gonna be saved more towards the end, but you do just wanna fill in all of these all the way to the tippity top of the cobblestone, just like that, and do that on all four sides. All right, so you, so you should end up with something like this. Not too difficult really to build at all, so that's pretty cool. So this next part of the build is going to be the roof. It's gonna be the most difficult part, so I'm sorry in advance, but basically it's, it's, it's gonna be hard to explain. Okay, we're gonna start by framing these logs with some oak wood planks all the way around. Now if you're in survival, this may be even more difficult, but basically I just build a ladder in there and then crawl up to the top and start doing this. Or, you know, as you build it, you could build the roof like first or something. I'm, I'm not really sure how you guys would go about it, but you wanna just frame the roof like this. You wanna make sure they're too thick like that. So just two by one, pretty simple. And then the next step, the fun step, we're going to come inside. We're going to place planks just like this. And then we're going to repeat that same pattern. So we're gonna go up two, just like that. And we're gonna go all the way around the roof again. And we're essentially gonna do that pattern all the way till we get to the top. It's gonna look somewhat like a wizard tower. I don't really know what to call it. I think I'm gonna title the video a tower base. I'm not really sure. Uh, but basically, yeah, just repeat that same pattern. So we're gonna go in here and do the same sort of thing, just like that. And now we may add some texturing details to the roof in a second here, but I'm not really sure how we're gonna do the roof. I'm actually doing the roof on the fly, guys. I've never built this roof before, never built a style of roof like this. So hopefully when I look at it real quick and instructed you guys how to build it, it doesn't look like complete crap. But if it does, that's okay. You know, trial and error, you'll never see this video clip and I'll just record over it with something else. But let's go ahead and finish the tippity top just like that. And let's take a fence and let's put, let's put, no, we're not gonna do that. Let's see how it looks, let's see how it looks. Okay. I think, mm, I think I can work with that actually. Okay, so let's come here. Let's 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 do something. Let's let's break this right here. This just looks a little funny to me. Let's go ahead and break this all the way around and put stick. Where are my stairs? Here are my long lost stairs. I think I grabbed a fence and put it where my stairs were when I already had fence in my inventory. I do things like that all the time. Like when you're recording, I don't know why, but your brain does not function the same way that it does when you're not. And it's not that you're under pressure necessarily, it's just like you you think that, I don't know, honestly, because after this long, I'm not really nervous when I record. It's just that I know that everything I say will be listened to by thousands of people. So I have to sort of like, I don't know, you know, I don't know. If any other YouTubers are watching, they want to chime in, feel free. Or if you want to chime in as to why that happens, feel free. But I'm just doing what I did on the first layer on all the layers. Hopefully that doesn't look like crap too. So we'll see here in a second. I think more than anything, the top is a little much. Just a little much. So let's go ahead here and just break this and just take some slabs and just fill it in. So we're gonna need some other materials for the roof. We cannot just have one material. But I don't know, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a survival base. It's not supposed to be this super, super, super fancy base. 
Um, so I'm, I'm not too worried about the, the looks necessarily as I am that it, you know, that was the wrong way to say that. I am worried about the looks. So in here, I'm just placing a layer of oak wood planks and then putting some upside down stairs just to sort of frame the roof a little bit, add some support to it. Of course, there's no support in Minecraft, but you know, somewhat of a support system. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna do the same sort of thing. I'm gonna do the same thing on every side, actually, which is always, ooh. What was that? Yeah, Minecraft has some weird noises now. Like, really weird noises. I'm not sure 100% what I want to do with this roof, but I think something like that, would that look a little better? Maybe, yeah, I think, so. no, 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 no. That does not look any better. Okay, let's, let, here, I'm gonna think off camera. Thank God I didn't keep the video clip of me making this roof, because <laughs> look at that, that does not look good at all. That looks absolutely terrible. I don't know, does it look good? I really don't know, maybe I should have just kept that roof, but that's one roof design. Let me, let me design something more survival-ish. Well, I've had a conflict in my head because I've, I've deleted the video clips and then taken them out of the trash bin, and I, I actually, I, I like the roof, but I think it needs something more, so let's add some slabs here. Okay, slabs, they can do wonders for a build, let me tell you. Slabs are like the savior of roofs because, roofs or roofs? I don't know. But either way, they really make a roof pop, okay? We got lots more texture here now, lots more detail. Can we do the same sort of thing right here? Sure, why not? I mean, it's not gonna hurt it or anything. So let's just do one, two, three, then two up, and then one, two, three. And again, we're just gonna sort of go around here. We're gonna repeat. If I do it on one side, it's safe to say on the roof, it's gonna be done on every single side. So, okay, that looks nice. How does that look? Ah, much, much better, more textured. Okay, let's do 2-2 two, two, and then 2-2. Two, two. Okay, there we go. I'm finally getting the look I was going for. It's just a survival tower, so I'm not sure why I'm putting too much effort into this roof, but I don't want things to be bad for you guys. I don't want you to, to come on my channel and watch a video and be like, Neo, that was just low effort. And it's not that some things are low effort. Some things are more survival oriented. And that roof looks really overdone now. I like that though. I'm kind of digging that. I'm, I'm actually really digging that. that that's kind of cool. Okay, see what I mean? You can make, you can turn a roof from zero to a thousand real quick. Uh, let's do the same sort of framing we did up top with these stairs, but we're gonna do it on this layer right here. Now, of course, it is a survival tower, so it's gonna have multiple levels, but since it's a survival tower, you're gonna want a way to get in and out of your build, I promise. It's gonna be extremely helpful. We're gonna make double doors, we're gonna put some upside down stairs here, then we're going to put some cobblestone here, and then grab two doors. What kind of doors should we use for this? Maybe some spruce doors. I think I like spruce doors on pretty much everything. I think they look really cool. Ah, yes. The wizard tower base survival house thingy with a really, really, really look cool looking roof. That's awesome. Okay, let's figure out some more texturing details. You know, before I figure out the texturing details, we should get inside and figure out how big the layers are going to be in here and how everything looks up top because as things stand right now, I don't really know how big I want every floor to be, but I do have a general idea, so let's, oh, a torch. Let's grab a torch and some sloobs. Some sloobs, okay, I'm done. All right, so basically I would build, like, okay, so we want one, two, three blocks of space, right? If I put a full block there, it would make it even smaller. It would be this, basically, this, I accomplished the same thing as put using a full block, but with this. But I don't want that floor material because that's what we used for the inside, so let me think. Okay, I've thought and I'm gonna go with spruce. So let's do some layers in here. Now, of course, I don't have all the layers thought out exactly yet or how we're gonna get in between them, but we will figure that out as we go. So let's do the same sort of thing. So I want three blocks of space. So on that upper block right there, we can just fill it in. So we should get about three layers. Uh, I'm not really sure how big it's going to be yet, but it's looking, yeah, that's, oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. We get four layers in this tower. Leave a like for four layers. Can you leave four likes? Is that possible? Maybe? No? So we have one layer, two, three, four, five. We got five. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do five layers. That's way, 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 way too many. But we can put some torches up here. Could we? Could we? Hold on. Can we, can we do this? Is this, is this okay with you guys? Can we do, can we do a little skylight like that? Ooh, inspiration is coming out right now. Here we go. 
boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking real good. Okay, let's come in here. Let's see, let's see how she looks from the, from the lower side. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's that's actually really cool. And plus, we got some nice natural light in here, so that's really good. Let me devise a way to get in between these layers. I'm shooting for a ladder here, but I'm not a hundred percent. You know, it, it could change. It definitely could change. It's not gonna change. We're just gonna do a ladder in the uh, left corner like this. It's gonna go all the way to the tippy top, just like that. Cool. And then obviously you want to fill in every block that, oh, we don't need those. You want to fill in, is there any blocks that are messed up? Yeah, right here. I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun designing the interior of this. The reason I designed the floors is so that we could do the window design without it getting weird. But yeah, let's design some windows. Oh, I was just looking at the windows and I came out here and I got even more inspiration. This build is just turning out really great, guys. Again, I have never built this thing before, but I'm just putting some stairs right here upside down and I think that makes it look magnificent. Now, I am having an internal dilemma, okay, because I used so much of this oak on the roof, it looks odd to me. I want to see how it's going to look if we do some spruce on it as well, but I want to finish one whole layer like this. And just see how it looks, but I love this roof design. I'm terrible at roofs, and I'm very proud of myself for that. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, let me do that all the way around and show you guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys. That's looking fresh. Let me put on some fancy shaders, and if I remember, I'll put on some fancy music. Let me do a cinematic shot of that roof real quick. Do, 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 do. I really hope my, uh, do, do, do. Oh, hi, cat. But yeah, look at that with these fancy shaders on. Even if it was on no shaders, it would look absolutely wonderful. I love that roof. Now let's design some windows. So windows are tricky. Let me take you through my thought process. They need to look good on the outside, but they also need to look good on the inside. They also shouldn't be too uniform, but at the same time, they should be somewhat uniform. What I just said, does it make a whole lot of sense? No. Should it? Maybe. Let's see how that looks from the outside, okay? So I don't like the windows being that close to the cobblestone, that just looked really weird to me. Those look fine. So I think that's enough windows for the first floor. We're just gonna leave them in those places. I like that. Um, windows, I mean, they're just tricky, guys. They really are just tricky. Let's do a thick window here. Let's do... Let's do a smaller window. Actually, let's do a 4x4 four four or a 2x2 two two window like that. And then let's just do a top window right there. So if you make your window variations a little bit different, it's gonna make your builds look a lot better. Uh, why is that exact? Why it always seems to be the case? I don't know why. I really don't. I'm not super super good with windows, but I do know that when you variate them, they tend to look a whole whole lot better. Why? I don't know. I can't really answer that. Someone that's maybe an architecture major in college could. Now, uh, the windows up here, it's gonna be a little tricky because I'm trying to figure out where where are we exactly? Like, like at this layer. What what layer is this? This is. Uh, 104 so let me come out here. Let me see where 104 is Okay, so our floor level. Yeah, there's no way we can get any windows through there. Maybe if we oh Oh Man that is I am just getting so happy. I don't know if you can tell but this build. Oh, yeah That is I did not even plan that with these windows, but those are gonna look so so cool. Oh My gosh, I don't know if you guys can feel that but I Please leave a like for these windows. Look at that. That is just cool. Oh yeah. That's one of the best things I've ever done in Minecraft. These, this roof and these windows. And this is just a build I made on the fly. I mean, gosh. That's cool. That's so cool. Let me see how that looks on the outside. I'm like nerding out here. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong button. Oh yeah. <laughs> that looks so cool. Okay, that looks so cool. What's going on here? Why is there no window? Did you did did we forget a window here? Okay, we can just do, oh no, we can't do a window like that. We've got to do a window. Oh, that's okay. We can repeat the window. Uh, maybe like that. Do a full window here and then here. Just do. We could just do a window like that. Honestly, yeah, that's cool. Okay, and we can also mod modify the windows like slightly when we're doing stuff. But let's make the outside of the window look good. Okay. Let's think, 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 think. All right, we're just gonna do this live because I think I got, I think I got the design. So upside down spruce stairs, cobblestone wall, and then whatever sort of archway you want to make with awning, I guess. Uh, we're gonna just sort of, well, actually, let's start this one right here and then do the wall. Yeah, and then 
go up one and then two. And then can we, do we even need to do it on the top one? Probably not, but just for redundancy, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, how does that look? Oh yeah, oh yeah, guys, I'm telling you, I am on a roll today with this build. I am so happy that this turned out as well as I thought. I'm in between classes right now, and I wanted to just make a quick video for you guys that was not super, super, I mean, I never want to make anything that's not super good, you know, but I wanted to make something that I could just do pretty quick and uh, get out for you guys, because I know you guys want to see some content, but I did not expect it to turn out like this, so I may have to actually, like, not cut this into any parts or anything, but I may have to, like, record this uh, after my next class because this is just looking too good to not put in like a lot of time into Okay, so we have a funky window here uh, Let's just do let's just do the same sort of pattern, but let's just make it smaller. I think it'll adapt to us Oh, yeah, see that is just cool that this is turning out like this. I really like I'm so happy right now Okay, let's do the same. Oh, okay. That's that's one too high Okay, let's oh don't break that. Let's put these stairs right there I think and then walls cobblestone walls and then boom okay let's see how that oh we got one more side okay right here walls slabs boom nice okay walls slabs and stairs I purposely said the wrong things okay that actually looks really really cool I am very happy with this so far all right let's make the interior match how good the exterior looks but first of all can we add some trap doors to the outside? That is always the question in mind. Can we? Probably. Should we? Probably. Let's let's see here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'll probably think of more spots to add trap doors to, like on the actual. I just wanted these supports to have something on them more than just those oak wood stairs at the top and the bottom. But I don't know if we can fit them like on the wall where the windows are or not. I don't I don't really think. Uh yeah, see, I, I don't really think there's an area they would fit. I could try like that, and let's see how that looks on one wall. But if not, we'll just remove it and get to the inside real quick. Uh, You know what? I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. Uh, I don't know, though. L let's look at it on one more side, and then I'll decide. I know this is kind of probably a little bit annoying to watch. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know, actually. I think there's too many... Tr there's, like... They're too close to the other trapdoors. They just look a little funky. So let's just remove them and let me grab some interior materials and I'll meet you guys inside and let's construct it. Okay, okay. Before we construct it, let's do the bottom layer is, let's do some stone brick flooring for, just for the bottom layer. Or, you know, that's just weird. Let's just do spruce. Okay, I, I'm a little indecisive, but I, I actually want to just do spruce. What did I, I was trying to grab the block, but uh, yeah, let's do that for the uh, first layer here and subsequently every layer above it. But yeah, let's design the inside. Oh yeah, I'm grabbing carpet. You know we're about to get busy in here. You know what I'm saying? Get busy with building this interior. So, let's come in here. Let's put some upside down stairs, put some pots on top, flowers, and then paintings behind. Oh, that's not the right size. Okay, let's just put, you guys ever have one of those days you wake up and you're just feeling good and then it's just a great day? I'm having one of those days today, if you can't tell. I'm really, I'm really happy. I just like today. It's a good day. Okay, let's let's fancy that that uh, crafting table up. My my uh my thought process here is that if we have an ender chest, this is sort of like the the area you'd walk in. Oh, I've been mining all day. Oh oh, I gotta put all my diamonds in here and then come up to the top chest right there, and then you have your diamonds. I don't really know what's gonna be up there, but you, you see what I mean. Like you want to put something in an ender chest, you have access to it in more than one area. But, I, uh, I digress, I digress. Let me see, what else can we put in here besides some carpet, okay? I'm thinking carpet in here again, nothing too even. You wanna just sorta of make it a little wild like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I wanted to put an armor stand in here, but now that I'm thinking about, whoa, they can fall under, yes, I love the new updates. Uh, where can we put it though? Realistically, probably like right there. I think that's good. I don't know, Let, let's load it up with some armor. Okay, that looks a lot better right there. I think that's the perfect place for an armor stand. Are we missing anything in here? Hmm, give me a chest. I mean, we could fit some chests in here if we have some trap doors. Maybe do a one of those chests that's like, I don't know. But we have this extra space up top. You can, what I mean is, is a chest that's like, like a vault. Oh, I can't do it right there. Like, uh, oh, come on. Yeah, like something like that. So you can put like, anywhere we can fit. 
could put, no, we're not gonna do that. We could just put a single chest here and then top it with something like that. And maybe take a spruce stair. Ooh, that's dark, that's too dark. I don't want that dark oak. I want the spruce. We could do an upside down stair just to add even more texture. And that's kind of cool. That's that's a pretty cool like little bottom floor, little entry room area. I like it. Let's design the next floor. I'd say, hmm, we got a lot of lighting in here. So let's make this into an armory. How about that? How about an armory? Does that sound good? Um, we could do an enchanting table up here. I mean, this area is so big, like we could fit an enchanting table right here with books and then probably more. I don't really know. I mean, there's so many options, so many options. I love designing interiors. So this is gonna be fun. Let's do an armory in here, though. An armory slash archery room, whatever. You're in a tower. You probably want to archery stuff. You want you want to archery stuff. Yes, that is a correct way to say it. Okay, I'm I'm done. All right, so I've just grabbed some random armor. We're gonna put some armor stands right here, and we're gonna make them face each other. We're just gonna do literally random armor. I'm not I'm not sure why I like doing that, but we're gonna do random armor. We're gonna put some item frames. And we're going to put them above right here and then let's say they have some magic swords one's got a gold sword and one's got a or a, a butter sword oh, thank 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 god that that's done the whole butter thing i was not a fan was not a fan let me just put that out there right now i was not a fan why i mean sky does minecraft he was a great guy starting out but then he i don't know what happened I don't I, I really don't know and these look kind of odd there actually you know what they look fine let's take another painting item frame not a painting and let's grab his magic or her magic diamond axe and that looks cool okay uh, now this is an armory so we're probably gonna need some chests we're gonna need some bows we're gonna need some arrows just stuff like that so this can be a chest and how can we denote that it is full of arrows and bows oh my gosh when did they come Arrow of harming? Well, aren't all arrows arrow instant damage? Man, Minecraft's getting crazy, guys. I really want to play survival after they've updated it for a few years because I feel like it's just gonna be crazy. But we're just gonna put a few bows in here. Like I said, just a few. That should be enough. That should cover it for quite a while. Okay, so this is an armory. You're probably gonna want to repair your tools because they're gonna get uh gonna get broken in combat and stuff. So let's do double anvils because that's just how this build is going. Uh, let's make this let's make this chest look nice and fancy. So let's put a spruce trap door and then on top. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Um, maybe you want access to an ender chest in your armory? Mm hmm. I'm not really sure. There's nowhere really. Oh, just put it right there, honestly. And that can be our nice armory floor. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And we didn't put any torches in here. Thank gosh, it's not night and we can't see. Okay, so let's put, thank gosh, I, I just don't want, I don't want to say God's name in vain too much because I, I don't want to be smited in the next life. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's looking nice and cool. Let's come down here and let's do some more torches so we can, oh, that looks cool. I love when there's torches and paintings in the same block. I just think it looks really cool. Um, I don't really think we're going to need much more lighting in here because this floor is sufficiently lit and so is this floor. So let's go up to the next floor and decide something for this. Honestly, I'm thinking this, we're going to need chest storage and we're probably going to do chest storage uh, maybe up there. So let me think, let me think, because we may need to modify some windows if we're going to be doing chest storage, but then we have to modify the outside. So let's just work with what we've got in here and let's do some chest storage. So I'm thinking something like that, just so we don't block all the windows, but I do want to take some stairs, some of these, uh, spruce stairs. And if I'm not mistaken, can't you put chests next to other chests now? I, I, they changed that and that that made all my like storage room designs like completely impractical because they had this huge spacing on them and stuff I don't know. I think that looks somewhat cool and let's sort of do the same thing But we'll, we'll let's use no. Let's use a spruce We're just going to kind of wall them off and it, it's, it doesn't take up that much space And I think it looks wonderful that there's just sort of framed like that that way when you walk in here You're like, oh, okay. This is this this is this blah blah blah, you know stuff like that um we technically have room for a crafting table, but as of where to put it, I'm not... Would this still open? No, crafting tables are solid. Okay, where could we put a crafting table? We could just put it right there, honestly. And then if you need a furnace, we could just put it right there, honestly. And then let me show you how I'd sort of organize this room. 
and I'm so I'm so lost because I forgot carpet on the floor below me and I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna cry because I really like carpet <laughs> it's a beautiful block okay just something like that uh, again not too even anywhere and then we're gonna do the same sort of thing in here hopefully we can fit what I'm trying to do I can't fit very many carpets but that honestly is enough Okay, let me show you how I'd organize it okay so basically what I do is I just put like item frames right here so this could be our chest with rare materials mining materials and then tools and then on this one right here we don't we, this little bottom chest he's not gonna get the organization it's just gonna be like that so what about uh, stuff for like mine carts stuff like that and then a redstone chest and then right here we could just do a cobblestone chest and a dirt chest and maybe instead of that we could do like a wood chest I feel like a wood chest would be much more useful than, than a rail chest I promise I played survival guys some of some people have been like Neo you've you ever played survival you just, yeah, it's a little suspicious the things you do but that's kind of like how I do this it's not a huge area to work with but I really like how this chest room has turned out so we haven't got an area to really smell we have a one furnace in there but Eh, you know, I mean, that's not too many furnaces. You can find areas, guys. Let me tell you, you can always find areas to put things. For example, this right here. We could just do a furnace, just sitting up there, chilling. Um, maybe a stair below it, like this. Huh? Something like that. You can always fit furnaces wherever you go. Even on this first floor here, I bet you we can sneak in a furnace or two. Um, maybe right there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Uh, you could honestly just put it right there and that really wouldn't be too bad But I kind of liked how the cart. I like that. This was just an entrance room. So Hmm, 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 hmm. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay, you know what? No, we're not gonna do that either we're, ju we're just gonna stick some furnaces up top because I'm I'm kind of a fan of how this is all turning out so far all these floors to me just look really cool Okay Let's design this top floor, aka the exciting floor, because, you know. Alright, there we go. Furnace problem solved. Um, as far as an enchanting table up here, let's see how possible it is. So, if we put the actual enchant, actual enchantment table. Okay, we do need torches. We can just do them right there. Maybe a few in the corner. Do we even, I don't even think we really need those, honestly. Okay. But the issue is, is I want a full 30 because I don't want something like some little weird enchantment table to get you to like 27. People have those in their houses, like they'll do tutorials and they go up to like 27 or 28 and I'm just like, uh, I mean, come on, you could have done something like that and literally fixed your entire build. But that's just me guys, I'm, I'm nitpicky like that, but I think that looks pretty cool. And I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't even take up the whole room, it takes up like, we still have like this much room to design and we have to finish this design so we have a lot of room still left and if I haven't mentioned this enough times I'm very happy with how this build is turning out and if you guys are happy with how it's turning out as well and you're enjoying watching please leave a like it helps the video just sort of get seen by other people it doesn't give me anything it doesn't give any youtuber anything it basically just helps YouTube just sort of sh figure out which videos to show people and like stuff like that so if you leave a like you're actually doing me a huge favor and I would really really appreciate it because I think a build like this needs to get seen by more than just more than just whoever's watching now because this is a really cool build like and I'm not just saying that because I'm making it I actually really like this like I really really like it so I'd love if more people could see it right there I just added some stairs to just give this room like some more like area basically and I think that looks really cool so let's take an anvil and we're just gonna place that right there and again you can always add chests wherever in your build let me make sure is that a whole block can I even oh that block doesn't even matter okay well we'll just put some chests here and you can put like books in there and stuff and hmm let me figure out what else to do in here because this is like this is a cool area to build with maybe some soul sand hmm you guys sort of see what I'm saying so maybe some nether wart yeah yeah maybe I don't know can we really fit that in here Maybe, maybe like right there? Maybe right there? I don't know, because these windows, they won't really allow us to put, we shouldn't put glowstone in front of them, but I think it'll still grow just fine without glowstone. But I always just like to have glowstone because I'm weird and I, I just, I, I associate it with the nether and it sort of makes sense to me that I have to have glowstone, like, I don't know. Oh, that's, that's wrong. Huh, 
Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. It's kind of weird that I can't cover these both, but I guess at the same time, it's not that weird. I don't know. I think that actually looks okay. Um, maybe if we wanted to make it look less weird, we could add some cobblestone walls in here, question mark? Something like that? I don't know. I don't really know what to do there, but I think that looks okay. That looks okay. Um, let's take a stair here and let's add a brewing stand. So brewing right here. And then we're probably going to need a cauldron because if you're making potions and stuff, you definitely want to be able to make like a potion with a brewing stand. Uh, let's take a tripwire hook to use as a faux faucet or a fake faucet. And then do these blocks even matter? No, I mean, we could literally do this. You could put upside down stairs there or just right side upstairs and people would never know. And look, you could put chests up here, guys. Yeah, yeah, you're seeing that right. You could put chests up here. I'm just saying, guys, I am a huge fan of how this build's turning out. I have said that so many times, but I am just so happy that this, like, I could get a build out for you guys. It's actually really, really cool. Uh, especially when I didn't plan on it being really really like fancy or anything like that But uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Everything is just oh Forgot the carpet. Sorry guys. Okay. Let me let me figure out something because I don't remember just carpeting effect If I put like carpet here with this block all those bottom things. I really hope it doesn't I feel like that's something Come on. That's something that they should fix. I mean, it's been a while since enchantment tables have been out so well, sorry guys, no carpeting for you in this upper floor, but you could definitely add it if you didn't really care about the enchantment table. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really genuinely hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I loved making this. This is one of my favorite builds I think I've ever made. It looks so cool from the outside. I cannot, I cannot believe I just made this on a whim like that. I just, I really can't. And I'm just seeing things I just sort of want to change like that and they just make it look so much better. You could build this, make it your own, and make it into an incredible survival house. So yeah, if you did enjoy it, please, please, please leave a like. You can share it, do whatever you can to make sure a lot of people see this, because this is a, this is just an incredible build. And I, I, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn here, but I just really like this. And not often do I say that about my builds. I mean, I'll like them, but not this much. I, I'm rambling about this thing. But uh, yeah, if you want to see more builds like this and more, Please, please click that subscribe button and you'll get no- Oh, yeah, you guys probably were grilling me for that in the comments earlier. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this and more, click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I upload a new video. I'm not sure why I didn't add that. I really don't know why I didn't add that earlier. But yeah, subscribe and you get notified when I upload. So if you want to see more things like this and more, click the subscribe button. If you're curious about the music, texture pack, shader pack, any of that fancy stuff, it's all going to be in the description below. Leave a comment and I'm probably going to reply to every single comment left in this video. Unless it like, you know, starts like getting a lot of views and it's like not feasible for me to do so. But as long as it's not getting too, too many comments, I'll reply to everyone. I've been trying to do that on my channel in the past month. But yeah, again, thank you guys a final time for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye. I know the video is technically over, blah, 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 whatever. I said bye. Oh, Neo, you can't talk. Whatever. Look, right here really, really needs an awning because that was, that was just bothering me so bad. Okay, there we go. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I've already said bye twice, but we forgot a bed. My girlfriend just reminded me we didn't have a bed in the build. So this is going to be, uh, this, this is embarrassing, okay? Because I just said, yes, I play survival, blah, blah, blah. Neo, there's no bed. What are you doing? Okay, so a bed. There you go. Bye. I'm just kidding. I don't know where to put it. I really don't know where to put it. Uh, uh, will it, where will it fit? Where will it fit? Right there. Per nope. I don't know, guys. I really didn't think about that until I was reminded because I don't. I do play survival, guys, but I don't play it a whole, whole lot. You know what? We're going to make a bedroom just because I feel that bad, okay? We're going to go down here real quick. We're not going to make it anything fancy. It's just going to be a bedroom. So let's just come in this hole right here. And we're going to make whoever lives in this house live in a literal hole while they sleep because this is the... Th th this could be your dungeon. How about that, guys? How about we build a dungeon? So let me fill in all the walls with cobblestone. And, of course, I'll just do spruce wood floor. Okay, nice. And you know what? This room's gonna be big enough. That we're we're gonna have two beds, okay? We're gonna have two beds. Let's grab some oak wood here, oak wood logs, and let's just put an oak wood log right there. Put some torches, and then I said spruce floor, so I'm going to be true to my word here. 
We're also gonna need a way to get up and oh I am I am so disoriented. Okay, we're gonna need a way to get up and down. We're gonna put a bed and we're gonna put a bed. There we go. Now you got two beds. And if you're still complaining, let's make it even fancier. Let's put some cobblestone here. Cobblestone stairs. Break it. Like just like that. Break it back. Make sure you fill in all the blocks. And then let's hmm. Let's go. Let's grab some pots. Okay. And let's just put those on this layer right here. Fill them up with something and then put a painting behind them. Um, I like blue orchids and both of our beds are the same color, so let's just put let's just put all blue orchids in here, make it all look nice and pretty. And then two paintings. And yeah, okay, now we got a bedroom, so no one can complain. No one can tell me that I forgot a bed in survival, okay? Dang it. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye for the third time.